my name's Tony Walsh, they call me Longfella, for reasons you can see. You'll, you'll find me at longfella.co.uk. Please don't go on longfella.com, that's, uh, that's a very different website. Also. Thank you, thank you for coming out this evening. This must make you some of Manchester's most uh, sophisticated culture vultures, would that be right? Yes. I appreciate it. I know it's hard to be a culture vulture and a counterculture vulture culture, but we can't counter culture culture and culture more culture vultures all together now. It's hard to be. <laughs> okay, Colin. Um, a couple of years ago, I was sat there on Twitter, and uh, when the cuts first came in uh, about the arts, um, I saw a tweet that said, "The arts aren't speaking with one voice or a strong enough voice against the cuts." And there was a link. I, di I didn't click on the link. I thought I'm going to make that case. So this is my poem that comes out fighting for the arts, not just the professional arts scene at which we excel in this country and in this great city, but the, the community arts scene. I work in schools, I work in colleges, I work in prisons, I work in uh, community centres, and it makes it the case for those as well. And, you know, I, I, I don't put any blame here on our, on our local councillors. It, uh, it goes much higher than that. It's my piece called uh, Arts and Minds. Can I get a round of applause, please, for my £2.49 Aldi glasses? <laughs> These really help my confidence because when I put them on, I can't see at all. So here we go. Here we go. Arts and minds. So the arts is a low priority, but it's the principal thing that defines us as human. Those moments, exponents can light up the room and it soundtracks our lives. It's the heart of our nation bringing civilization to our civilization. It's the cultural pulse of these green pleasant lands. It's the heartbeat you can't beat from Britain's best bands. It's the sounds that just pounds all around Britain's streets as our geeks and our freaks tweet this week's bleeps and beats. It's the tourists who flock to our national collections. It's tears in your eyes as you witness perfection from prime time and mainstream, for family sharing, to courageous, outrageous and out there and daring, from relaxing, not taxing and safe and commercial to incendiary, extraordinary, brave, controversial, it's mashing up cultures and mixing up styles, from dancing at dawn to a night on the tiles, it's opera and soap opera, ballet and pantos, dubstep concertos and thrash metal cantos, it's guitars and sitars and harps and harmonicas, gay disco, bebop, a psych funk and tronica, it's every subgenre of music conceivable, oh you missed it last night, right? It's Unbelievably skip, skate punk and space punk and reggae got soul, it's bass pounding, ace sounding, great rock and roll, it's hip hop and punk rock and bittersweet symphonies and infamy, infamy. infamy. It's box office blockbusters, talk of the town, it's the smell of the popcorn, the lights going down, it's how movies can move us and never forget, how dance moves, enhanced moods make souls pirouette, it's the special effect of those special effects, it's comedy, tragedy, drama and sex, it's bright lights, it's highlights, it's Saturday nights, it surrounds and confounds and astounds and delights, it's the miracle of magical musical spectaculars, hip operas written in modern vernacular, it's gazing, amazing, not seen that before, it's gobsmacked and goosebumped and gaping in awe, it's PG, it's 12, it's 15, 18, it rolls from our concert souls and screams from our screens, it blazes from pages and pulses palladiums, radius from stages and staggers our stadiums, it's the roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd, the deafening silence, then crying out loud, it's the antici Patient, the exhilaration, the edge of your seat, then a stand innovation. It's the light that it shines on the human condition. It's the priceless delights for the price of admission. It's genius between us in arenas, in fields. It's prima ballerinas and the way that it feels when the act of an actor on stage in a play charts that part of your heart that you never display. It's Sugar Babe Shakespeare, it's Lock Up Your Chaucers, it's Dickens, Rich Pickens for sought after authors, it's burlesque and batik and beatbox and banger, it's mosaic and mimicry, montage and manga, it's graphic design and the finest typography, visceral, mystical, phenomenal photography, it's how photos expose those who pose to the eyes, oh the lens tends to cleanse and extends a surprise, it's political puppetry, feminist fiction, knitters with attitude, graphic depictions of horror and fantasy, sci-fi and splattercore, people who tell you that nothing can matter more than the hope and the glory last night at the proms, the choirs like fire, the poems like bombs, the rocking with laughter and packed to the rafters, the Oscars, the Costas, the Mobos and Baftas, the fire breathing, fire twirling, fireworks and flames. And the opening ceremony, the Olympic Games. And we sing Cooper Britannia. Because Britain is blessed, we're first class, we're world class, it's what we do best. When it comes to the arts, we are such a world leader, small islands, big talents, we're overachievers, creative industries, culture, where business is booming. But cracks are appearing. 
cutbacks are looming. But Britain's got talent of incredible breadth, bringing pleasure beyond measure to incredible depth. So remember that arts, yes, can entertain millions, but enjoyment employment can generate billions. And it's not just the artists. There's work for technicians, for brickies and chippies, for skilled electricians, designers, suppliers, and jobs which are key, whether making decisions or making the tea. It all creates income. It generates wealth which is spent and respent more than pays for itself. So art just for our sake can take pride of place, but there's no business like a show business, business case. But it's not all just but it's not all just for famous and glamorous stars. It's the art that takes part in the schools, in the bars, in the old people's homes, in community centres, it's tutors and teachers and workshops and mentors. And it's not just for capital cultural elites, it's for ordinary people from ordinary streets. It's the whole filling, soul thrilling joy that it brings. When ordinary people do extraordinary things. So let's celebrate art in our local communities, wide-ranging, life-changing, rip opportunities, breathing cohesion and tackling sorrow. Beginners begin to be winners tomorrow. It widens horizons, it broadens our minds, it binds us together, it helps us unwind, it deals in diversity, eases anxiety, weaves ties that bind through the fabric of society. It's the honesty, dignity, beauty and truth of chronic art writers who write of their youth. And I've heard say their wordplay when given a start is a javelin travelling to your heart. So the arts is a therapy. Fighting ill health. It's the used and confused boy who's finding himself. It's that look in his eye for the very first time when the light switches on. The back of his mind. And artists can spark this and kids of all ages help the shyest fly highest to triumph on stages. Tell the shy kids to fly kids and soar to new heights. You've exponential potential, so reset your sights. Start growing, start showing you the best you can be. No ceilings, those feelings when you're solely set free. It's ducklings to swans, it's wallflowers flowering, it's a voice for the voiceless, enabling, empowering, it's bewitching, enriching. It can save people's lives. Help the lonely not, not only to grow but to thrive. It's rough, lads. Tough dance. You just want to dance. And they give it their all if we give them a chance. But when nobody listens, the quiet girl sings. And the weight on her shoulders turns out to be wings. We're never more human than when we create imagination, innovation. It's what makes us great as Britons, as humans. It sets us apart. So let's tell our heads what we know in our arts. So let's fight for the arts and for what's being lost. And let's talk about value and not about cost. Because in every report, via every assessment, this isn't subsidy. This is investment. And it's time that the arts stood together to shout this. Witness the richness. We're poorer without this. And the value is priceless. That's all that we're saying. Some things that cost, and what price is worth paying? And when they tell us that's fine, but where else should I have cost? Let's reclaim the debate with no ifs and no buts, because it's not about arts versus pensions or healthcare. It's not about arts versus schooling or welfare, but it is about choices. It's this simple choice. It's silence and lies versus truth given voice. So the question is not how to slice up austerity. The question is who has denied us prosperity? So don't fight over crumbs, because it's too much at stake. Let's unite, let's fight those who've stolen the cake. Thank you, cheers.